you are my other half. Gosh, right as we are crying and this is, is, is wanting to be seen and your reading is very beautiful. It's, um, it's very beautiful. It's difficult too. I know some of you are really in a difficult place now. But your person is acknowledging that. They may not know the name. They may not know exactly what what is this connection called or what is this connection, but they know it's been uh, very intense in these messages, as you have heard, so I won't go over all of them again, but wow, you're reading Twin Flames. Really a super strong need to let go, let God, to go with the flow, to live your life, to heal yourself, to ascend, to do what you need to do in life, to to chase your goals, to do your things, to be happy. When you reach that point, your person is that point. If there is a union for you in the 3D, there will be. We are tethered forever. Yeah, guys, this is, if I were to say to you, what is the most twin flame energy card I have, I would say this is it. Well, this is one of many, but this is a very strong, strong Strong, strong one. You're tethered forever. Hello, Twin Flames. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hi. Also, welcome if you are new to the channel. Thank you for being here. I'm very happy you're here. This is a special channel tarot reading for you, Twin Flames, and no contact, no communication, and or separation. This is a timeless reading, so when you get here is when you're meant to be here and receive your messages. Although this is for January 2022, 2022, my <laughs> sounds it sounds wild to say, doesn't it? Uh, readings are timeless. So yeah, when you get here is when you're meant to receive your messages. Please remember that there's a lot of energy coming through today. At times it can feel like a private reading, guys. Other times there are very particular messages for you. Please take what resonates and throw away the rest. The last thing I want to say to you, excuse me, is... This is not a prediction, guys. Your outcome is your own. Please use your free will today when following, watching, listening, and taking in your reading. Okay, guys, um, over here, I just want to tell you today, we also have channeled love messages. Channeled love messages, volume two, twin flame, excuse me, twin flame love messages. One of my original, excuse me, love messages decks. We also have channeled song messages here, channeled song messages deck, channeled twin flame volume two song messages, and something to say song messages. Now I want to say to you, if you ever feel like anything is in reverse with your borderless tarot deck, guys, you take that as it resonates for you. It's very important. And also, if you feel you're sending a love message, a particular message to your person, it's what resonates for you. You go with that. And song messages, it can be your song comes down, can also be the artist, or it can quite simply be a message within a song or more than one song, can even be one line a name, a location, whatever that is that needs to come through for you. And again, if you feel you're sending it to your person, then that is how it, it is meant to come to you. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you tell us what is going on? Look, I'm doing this and they're not coming down. So they are yours with our twin flames today watching. Any messages, okay, this is just flipping over, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to start turning them over here. Look at that, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, who, right in the very beginning here. Anything that needs to come through to help our Twin Flames get some clarity, peace, understanding. 
whatever it is with their person, with their lives, their person's life, what they might be thinking and feeling, their next move, anything that you want to bring through. This also includes life messages, please. Okay, guys, I'm going to start turning over your reading, but I'm actually going to get you some, uh, excuse me, overall energy card. So we will, excuse me, uh, I'll just get them turned over here and let you take a look. That's what I wanted to say. The Emperor card, guys, there's some Aries energy. You're seeing that, the Ace of Cups, guys, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Queen of Wands here. This is Aries energy, but Pisces also comes through. Guys, the Page of Pentacles here, very interesting. Yeah, who's that? Okay, and right next to it, the Page of Wands, you guys. Hmm, okay. Um, we also have the Leo card, the Strength card coming down. There is the Lover's card, guys, Gemini and the seven of wands coming down some more leo look at that interesting okay guys um let me move it up a little so i can be sure you see your cards can you see them okay i hope it's very cozy <laughs> i know we're gonna get some overall energy i just want to um, tell you that sometimes uh, these energies can be reversed i'll tell you a little bit more in a moment Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we please have an overall energy for our twin flames person? What is going on in their lives? Anything that needs to come through, their current feelings, messages they want to send through, what they might be thinking, their next move. Okay, guys, I do not look. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we please have an overall energy for our twin flames watching today? Any messages that need to come through, guiding them, giving them clarity, peace, understanding, maybe answering some questions, whatever needs to come through today, please won't you send that? Okay, guys. So this is what I wanted to say to you. It's not always the case, but I do like to let you know this is your person's overall energy here and yours is here. At times, it can be that they get reversed. It can be that I, I discover rather quickly that your person's energy is actually yours or yours is theirs. We'll know in just a moment. Also, it can also be that the energy, overall energy cards belong in the entire reading okay so I just want to let you know that before we take a look here okay <laughs> well that's interesting uh not we're not we're gonna have to see what's going on over here but look at that guys there's the emperor card something tells me this is in fact your person guys this is Aries energy here uh very clearly and it's not surprising that your person this can also be you. Let's take a look here, guys. Okay, gosh, um, don't be worried about that. <laughs> it's, it's the death card, guys. It's a lot of people are scared of the death card. Please do not be scared of the death card. Scorpio energy, guys. This is talking about that ending and a renewal here, guys, okay? So this can also be about the cycle that you guys are in and can be telling us that you're going to communicate. It can be a lot of things. So we're going to have to get a little deeper into the reading. But I want to tell you, I, I do think that this is where things are. And it, I do feel a little bit that it belongs in the entire reading. I want to say to you, especially with the death card, but I want to say your person's energy is very, very strong here in this Aries Emperor card of really trying to contain themselves and contain their um, hold back their emotions here. Now, the thing about the Emperor card, look, I don't even have to show you this little tiny one because, well, I just messed up the reading, but <laughs> we have this big one here that we can look at. So let's do that. Let's do, let's take a look at the big one here. Okay. I'm going to put your card down for a moment just while we talk a little bit about the Emperor card. Now it can be for some of you real 
obvious stuff with the emperor card that maybe your person is older. Maybe you are, maybe this is reversed energy, but that is not the point. Now, look, the emperor is holding the ankh here. We, this, I want to tell you right off the bat, this is very, very, this, your energy, your twin flame energy is very strong here. And I want to say you're both here. Um, you're both really, um, this is, it's out of balance, guys, because this is a twin flame connection. Now, a lot of times they are, especially if somebody has not surrendered, if somebody is still chasing, there's still the running and the chasing going on. I want to say to you, um, in your particular reading here, there's a very strong indication that you're both kind of trying to hold it together, um, maybe in a little bit of a power struggle, I want to say. Now, one of the big things about Twin Flame Journeys is, excuse me, releasing that ego, guys. So the whole point of it is to heal, heal each other, heal yourself, really to surrender. Um, and I do feel like both of you have not, okay? That is not going to be for everybody here, but it, there's a very strong indication with the double emperor card here. This is in your first placement. Now, at times this can be your energy only. At other times, it can be yours and your person's, or it can be just your person's. I feel very strongly on um, this is you here, Twin Flame Watcher, and this is your person. This this is the two of you. I want to tell you also with the Ankh, that feminine masculine energy, that yin-yang, there is an imbalance, and that is mainly because you both have different lives right now. I want to say to you, it's a lot of emotional energy. You can see it in both cards. Look how far down it is. Somebody's looking forward. You both know that you're deeply connected here and really loving each other, but there is a little bit of a power struggle, I have to say. And when I say hiding your feelings or your person hiding their feelings, I do feel that it's a kind of a containment on one hand, from this connection for a lot of you, well, for everyone, I want to tell you, this is about divine timing, you guys, okay? Uh, it just is. That's just part of the Twin Flame journey. Um, but what I want to say is for some of you, the, the repressing of the feelings is because of that. You have other lives. It's very, very clear you have other lives. However, there is a little bit of a battle going on. There might have been some of the last conversations that you had, whether it's through SMS or social media or person and phone, whatever it was that sort of created this, well, this imbalance here. But the imbalance is here anyway, guys. It, it cannot be balanced out until somebody is not running and chasing and we are ascending and surrendering is what I want to say. The point of a twin flame journey is to heal parts of ourselves that can go back to past lives. Also in our childhood now, I want to tell you, and hence why I see here, uh, and it's very, very strong that there's a lot, a lot of mirroring and triggering going on, which is part of what is causing the, the ego battle, I have to say the pride, and it's not, I, I have to tell you, it's, it's not feeling like it's a lot of it. It's not feeling on purpose. It's really your person and possibly you too, I have to say, not even completely understanding why you're triggered. What it is about this person, your person, your twin flame, or for them, what is about you, their twin flame, that's triggering them. A lot of times if we have not surrendered, if we have not begun the healing process, if we have not stopped chasing, we can't see it. It can take a really long time even after we stop chasing. There's a lot of steps to the surrender, I want to say, but I do feel that you're both in that kind of, um, yeah, that struggle here for a little bit of power, I want to say, which is, you know, I don't want to say sad. It's, it's very difficult because neither of you really quite have it. I want to say this is all about divine timing. For some of you, the timing might be closer if you have, uh, if you are ascending and you have 
um, excuse me, surrendered. But for some of you, it's a lot farther away. I also need to tell you there's a lot of new energy here. Some of you might be just coming new to your Twin Flame journey. Others, you know, you've been on it for a really long time. Um, this coming down as your very first card and also being your person's overall energy and as I said, um, feeling like it belongs also in the overall energy of the reading is really not a surprise to me. Okay, that's staying there. Now, before we get more into the reading, I just want to say to you with the death card, again, do not worry about the death card. Please, excuse me, Gemini Virgo there. That was interesting. This is Scor Scorpio energy, guys. This is also coming to a four, I want to tell you. The thing about the death card is it really is about changes coming. And with the four, you guys, I want to tell you, I this is why I also feel like it's in your overall energy that you're both really manifesting the other one. Even those of you that are saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm done, I've stopped. If you are in any type of toxic situation. I want to tell you that that's most likely a false twin flame. So you might want to research that if you're new to the twin flame journey. Um, but otherwise, I want to say to you, you can say, yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm going on. I've surrendered. However, if there's still a lot of anger involved in that, this then it, you haven't actually surrendered yet. Um, I want to say, when you have reached that point where you are healing the parts of yourself that need to get healed due to this, due to your connection, excuse me, your twin flame journey, there is a sort of peace to that, you guys. And with twin flames, you want to send love and light to each other. And, but that does take a while to get there. <laughs> I can tell you as a twin flame, it does not happen overnight. You can spend a very long time in, in particular phases, including, of course, the running or the chasing, um, the mirroring and the triggering and not really understanding why your person is triggering you or them understanding why you're triggering them. And we mirror our twin souls because they are us, we are them, we are uh, sharing the soul, you guys. So we we know it's split, it's um, mirrored souls, it's the other half, as you know. So anyway, coming back to the death card, I want to tell you, it's telling us about these ending, the ending, excuse me. So for some of you, it's very strong that you have surrendered. I can see here in your, your beginning, your ascension. For others, it's a very strong message for you in your overall reading that it's time. Now, this the death card can also tell us about changes, I want to tell you. And that is exactly what that is talking about, is that massive, very painful, I'm going to tell you, change that is either taking place for some of you now as you surrender and ascend here and begin your healing or that you're going to be going into this, guys, and a very strong message for you not to be afraid of that change. Um, really, when I say time to move on and transform and rebirth, which is all about the death card, I'm talking about your twin flame journey. A lot of you are the union is not possible right now. And we're seeing that it's coming through that there's still healing to be done, changes to be made transforming for you. Okay, I want to tell you it's about your healing here, this twin flame journey. Um, of course, you love your person, of course, your person loves you. But I have to tell you, um, one of the things about the twin flame journey that a lot of people forget, or maybe they don't realize is, it's not always this. Well, it's not at all. It's not just a fairy tale, guys. It can feel that way. Um, very, very much the intensity is unreal, especially when you're coming together. And for those of you that are um, in the coming back, and it's been months or years, and you're coming back again, and you um, sort of renew things, th that part of the journey is 
incredible and you will move mountains for your person. Your person will move mountains for you. Now that is still very much a part of the twin flame journey. You love your person unconditionally. And I have to tell you, sometimes that is why the runners run because it's very intense. Uh, it's in a very, a very intense feeling to have that kind of unconditional love. And when things start to separate for those that are not in union or union anymore, which is a lot of people, because it's very common, guys, it's not, it's, it's more common to be not in contact and separated than it is to be in union, I have to say, not that it's not possible, it is, but yeah, but when that starts to happen, when the disconnect, disconnect, excuse me, starts to happen, that ego comes into play, that that unk gets pulled out. <laughs> and people start um, feelings, you know, the you lose sight of things. And especially if you don't know that you're on a twin flame journey, you don't necessarily understand what it is you're supposed to be doing here. So I want to tell you, twin flame watching again not to be scared by this this is that white horse you guys it's very emotional for you i see that you have a lot of emotion and love for your person a lot of passion you would move mountains okay and for those of you that say well i'm i've already ascended i'm i've already let go i wouldn't you would still move mountains even if you have ascended and you've let go i, I don't think you would be here today but if you are that's great actually but you still to reach that point you want to reach you guys of healing and a possible union or even moving on really with no union i have to tell you there's still a certain amount of um a lot amount a lot of peace that needs to be within your heart so you are sending love and good energy back to your twin flame um that that energy the the 5d and also in the 3d guys and the telepathic messages it's all part of it and it is all you're sending that to each other and sometimes i have to say the telepathy is all you have those messages not everybody can just reach out and talk to their twin flame now i want to tell you here this page of pentacles it's very interesting coming down here right under the emperor card as we know with the emperor holding the ankh sort of Maybe your person too could be used to being in, in a bit of a power position, having their way. That's true. And it's very interesting that I feel you here also, as we already talked about. But in this particular message that's coming through for you right now, it's your person is, is well, it's kind of almost like stomping their feet, I want to say, at the universe or maybe the circumstances. They're here. A page energy is kind of not really ready. So I don't think that your person, and I think for a lot of you too, you're looking at this commitment that you want with each other. You're looking at it. Look, you're looking at it lovingly, holding it up adoringly. But this is a little bit of young energy. Now your person, you could be younger. That is just a fact here with the page of pentacles. But I want to tell you what is coming through stronger is that the divine timing well divine timing is is at play here i'm just going to tell you that already but that you guys are kind of a little bit stomping your feet at the universe you know at the divine saying but why why can't we we want to here and you can see that holding on and it's a little bit like stubbornness too that's coming through here very strong i have to say to you um the page of pentacles as well is stubborn because you both know, I want to say, and your person that it requires patience. And that is a very, very strong message here. Um, very strong message. And also, I want to tell you, for some of you, it's either you or your person is being a little bit more stern about it, a little bit more, it's not time, I can't, I can't leave this situation, I can't do this now. And there's another person in the connection saying, but I've I'm I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be patient. Check, you know, looking at the pentacle and really just not not letting each other go. Of course, even for those of you that are physically moving on maybe with new love in your life, which is wonderful, guys. You need to keep living your life. Please, I need to send that message through right away to you. But um 
Yeah, for others, it's a it's a very stubborn patient. <laughs> it's it's you're not happy about it. I want to say also for some of you, your person, but there are some of you out there that are being patient and holding it up and saying, "I know this is divine timing. I know this is very very difficult. It's not the time, but I'm." I sure am thinking about it is what I want to say to you here. Uh, interesting. Wow, look, and it's just landing here on the page of wands. You're reading. Wow. Yeah. This is right in your relationship placement, guys. The Ace of Cups, obviously here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through. Now, I want to say to you guys, Twin Flames, it can be for some of you that there is a new relationship on the horizon or you might even already be in it. it could also be your person guys i just want to say this isn't your your relationship excuse me your partnership placement now that can be with your person and it usually is but i have to tell you in today's reading i'm feeling very strongly uh, two different things here for some of you well this is your person dreaming about it also you but your person might literally come out of nowhere with a message or perhaps they can move these mountains now that we see here in the emperor card i don't feel like a lot for a lot of you that that divine timing is possible but it's going to be for some of you for sure your person here wanting to excuse me move those mountains just might and just might come out of nowhere with all this look at look at the emotional energy it's incredible and with the ace of cups i have to tell you it can mean a new relationship it can also mean a relationship that's already ongoing coming back together now we know with the ace of cups this of course can mean babies and maybe even a marriage proposal guys Okay, but here's what I want to say. First of all, it's not for everyone here for sure. Secondly, it can be too that somebody here, whether it's your person or you, might have that already going on. It can be for some of you, you have somebody new that might be proposing. Maybe you're going to propose. Um, can be you're getting back with a karmic here. Same goes for your person. If we were to see the Three of Swords, which does actually come down very often in Twin Flame readings, guys, it can also um, be telling us that somebody in the connection, you or your Twin Flame, might be going through a divorce or is thinking about a divorce. Now, this is sort of, well, obviously the total opposite of that. But here's the thing. So I do feel that some of you have this new love on the horizon it really just is it can also be your person guys but also look here's that page of pentacles here's that page again that page energy the page of wands and your person is coming through here too guys um i have to say to you now here's the thing it's true that not for not not for everybody um it's not for everybody, excuse me, that divine timing is now for them and their person is coming. It might be, it very strongly might be, but for a lot of you, this is what your person is thinking about. This is your relationship placement too. For those of you not on a new love journey right now, I have to say, it's very much, if you were looking in their mind, especially here with the emperor card, it's really both of them taking a peek in their mind so much mirroring and triggering and they're they're trying to contain themselves here they've got other things going on in their lives yes there is a little bit of an ego and power struggle going on right now but they're that's mainly because we see with the page of pentacles they haven't quite healed they're not there yet they have not surrendered for a lot of you they don't know i have to say to you but they're very connected to you and they know that and are dreaming about this is what I want to say. If you were to look in their mind, in their heart, you would see this. You would see them holding on to you. A wand, you guys, the energy of love. That is the idea of love. That is the relationship. That is you. Look, they're looking, longingly looking at it, thinking, how, how can I make this work? This is page energy. It's not quite... It's not a night. It's it's not um, moving. It's still trying to figure it out, I want to say. So there's a very, very strong indication that your person has not reached that point in the, the union. I want to tell you the twin flame connection 
or in their life and the divine timing allowing them to come. But they're really, really dreaming about it here. They have not let you go, of course. You cannot sever a twin flame tie, guys. I need to tell you, you cannot cut the connection. Can you move on with your life and be happy? Of course you can. Of course. Can you uh, reconnect with with other with other loves with some soulmates or with your with a karmic now whatever that is of course a hundred percent excuse me my stomach's making a lot of silly noises yes very very much um, i do want to be clear about that you can be with karmics or soulmates and have a twin flame they're very different guys you have one twin flame you can have many soulmates in the world and it's not just romantic i talk about that a lot and i love that i can do a twin flame twin flame videos for you and go deeper into it it's a little difficult in my zodiac readings there's a lot of energy always coming through but i can only go so far but I want to tell you, your person, of course, hasn't let you go, but, but emotionally, you're on their mind. And they may not know that you're twin flames. They may not know the word, but look, they know that this is a very spiritual connection. This is divinely guided. Do they know to what extent? I don't think so. But they're wearing that coat. They have that feather in their hat. Now, some might say the feather in the hat. It's the page. Come on. You know, you know everybody... I have to say <laughs> there, there are particular meanings for cards. There are also a lot of people um, reading intuitively in their own way. This for you is not about a feather in the hat that you're another person. Maybe they thought you were and they're realizing that, but that is not the case in this connection, Excuse me, guys, the camera. If anything, for some of you, your person may have thought that the way you came together, especially for particular message for somebody out there some buddies out there that came together a long time ago and your person did not realize what it was and maybe they thought that it was that but realizing now looking at it going oh my gosh what what have I done what can I do how can I get to my twin flame now I just know that it's not going to be for everyone. It's it's just not, you guys. This is a twin flame journey, and I hate to say, but it's not with all the love and unconditional love and a lot of the moments, especially um, early on. I can say to you, yeah, it's beautiful. And feel, let me move these cards, guys, and feels uh, very wonderful. But it is not a uh, fairy tale, is what I wanted to say to you. Okay. Um, excuse me, guys, I'm getting distracted. We're going to look here at the Queen of Wands. Um, this is what I want to say to you already. Gosh, uh, the Queen of Wands in my last Twin Flame reading, I want to say was here. Very interestingly, guys, this tends to be my the coveted hiding spot where <laughs> the naughty or those holding back. I'm very surprised the emperor actually didn't appear there. Go. So it's interesting that we have the lover's card there and we'll talk about it in a minute. But in my last reading, the queen of wands was there. And I want to say this is not surprising. Um, you're both here in this energy, guys. Now, the queen of wands is very much Aries energy, also some Pisces energy coming through. But Leo always comes through for me um, very much. And there is that duking out that we talked about. There are the egos, guys. Look, excuse me here. I'm making a little bit of a mess. You can see that sunflower right between you. And I want to tell you right off the bat, that is symbolic of knowing. That is knowing, guys. You, uh, I feel like, like we talked about here with the double emperor card, guys, with the overall energy from your person and kind of in the reading and the first card coming down in your reading that there there is some ego still I, I don't feel like for a lot of you the timing is now for a union here um, for those of you watching will that be for everybody no but it's very strong here that there's still some ego going on and now, ego is not a bad thing, guys. We're, we have ego in our lives for many reasons, to protect us for decisions. It's it's an important part, facet of the human condition, but it can um, go in another place and um, have people behaving, you know, not in their, not their highest self is what I want to say when the pride comes in. And that is very strong. And it's not surprising that the strength card is right down there. 
we already know that there's a little bit of a, a battle going on between you guys. And here's the thing. I do feel like there is somebody here that maybe has ascended just a little bit more, wearing that crown, knowing, holding on to this love here, I mean, holding on to a sunflower, knowing what the connection is. But I want to tell you with the Queen of Wands too, it's very strong that um, one of you, I think it might be you, Watcher, it could also be your person, one of you um, also might be, yeah, on this path here, guys, the Ace of Cups with this new love. That's not going to be for everybody, but I do feel that there. But I also feel that you are, and this also came down, yeah, in the last reading, I have to say, trying to get your person to, you might be chasing a lot. There's a lot of chasers here. I want to say trying to get your person, maybe even being overly confident. I want to say trying to get your person to talk to you. You're feeling pretty safe in that respect. Look, you have your little kitty there, <laughs> your protection. The other thing I want to tell you about this little black kitty too, is it really is um, a keeper of secrets guys. So, and it's really just, um, I want to say no brainer, but <laughs> it's not really what I want to say. It's um, very typical, very, very typical in a twin flame um, union or a twin flame, excuse me, connection that there are secrets. There just are. So I do feel like there's something here going on either with you or your person that may be even above and beyond. And it can be here too that this duking out that's going on is some of you have talked about trying to find a way to each other here now, even though it might not be divine timing yet, might not be time yet, and somebody went back on it, maybe was a little afraid, as we see here with the strength card. And there is a little bit of duking out <laughs> ego-wise, I want to say, emotionally going on because of that. Wow, there's a lot of crazy things happening behind the scenes, you guys. <laughs> but very strong twin flame energy. We see that also, guys. Well, in the strength card, and there is that eight too. What is that eight? That is a action card, accomplishing something, kind of mastering something too, I want to say to you. And I do feel like your, your person here is you. Uh, it could be you, or it could also be your person, but somebody is still really chasing here, wanting the other person to talk. And if that is you and you're watching, I want to say to you, there's a very strong message coming through for you to let go, let God go with the flow, go with divine timing, you guys back up a little bit here. Okay, take care of yourself, love yourself, respect yourself, also your person, and this can be vice versa, but somebody is still really chasing, trying to get somebody to talk that may not be ready to um, say something they've been holding back. Maybe there is some kind of a secret that you have figured out, your person has figured out. I do think there are secrets being kept in the connections. Um, for a lot of you, that is just a given. But you see here, very strong twin flame energy here in both cards. We see the duking it out, kind of getting somebody to, to talk or do something, uh, make a move that they're not ready for, that they're not quite doing. And if you look here at the Queen, excuse me, of Wands, you can see that also. Here is one kind of looking off, look, has a, the mouth going, you know, rrr, <laughs> looking this way. And you have the other line here looking right up at the queen of wands, um, sort of a little bit of fear saying, but, but, so I want to say, and there's no gender here, guys. So, um, really it's not about, um, he or she or they, there's just, there's no gender here. I want to tell you, this can be you. This can be your person. I do feel strongly that it's your person for a lot of you watching that you are the chaser and your person is, uh, running. That's what they do. And so there's a very, very, very strong need for you to love and respect yourself and step back, take care of yourself. Look around at what is in your life, guys, that you have in your life, things that make you happy, getting out in the air and eating well and drinking lots of water and, and doing things that you love, pursuing your goals and your dreams. These are the things that are going to take you um, into your ascension, guys. These are the things that happen when you surrender, when you start to heal your past wounds, your childhood wounds, your 
can be past live wounds, things that have not been worked out that still need to be healed. And that is often the case when uh, we are triggering our person or our person are, is triggering us because we have not healed. There's something in them or um, with you, with them, that's triggering each other. Those are parts that need to get healed, I want to tell you. So there is a very strong message for some of you to step back. Now, could also be your person here, but I, I want to say that's most likely most of you here. Um, it's a lot of time to spend on that, but that is what was coming through. And here in the coveted <laughs> naughty corner, interestingly enough, is the lover's card. And I, I kind of feel like, um, well, Gemini energy, that for some of you, that is not, not surprising, right? This is a twin flame connections are not the same as a romantic relationship of someone you dated and broke up with and, um, or, do you, not like a fairy tale like I've talked about. Can it be like fairy tale like? Yes, very much. It can feel that way. But a twin flame journey is is about healing, guys, and connecting to your higher purpose, your higher self. Uh, it's about a lot of things. And if you if you can come back into union, it's not always the case. So I do feel like for some of you, this is representing what this relationship, excuse me, and that's really the wrong word, what this this twin flame connection is doing to your lives is what I want to say or has done to your lives and very interesting that we do have the death card there because some of you uh, really do need that message guys to start your ascend if you haven't already and some of you are already in this transformation and renewal so I hope I wish you well wherever you're at in your journey but I know that not everybody is um, trying to get there some of you are already there but this particular message, I want to say it is still, of course, very, very strong twin flame energy, guys. And it goes without saying a lot of love, a very, very deep love. But here's the other thing. When the lover's card comes down, there is a choice here. And I have to tell you, twin flame, I don't Now The choice can be that it's between the two of you because it really is about making a decision together. And I want to say, I for a lot of you, you have talked to your person or communicated it to your person, and, and maybe they have now um, said, yeah, okay, but I can't right now. We see here with the Seven of Wands, you guys, this Leo energy, they're feeling a little bit self-defensive. This can also be you, but look, holding that one, that love, you guys, holding that one here, then having six behind them. What is the six? That is a really strong need for peace and healing and harmony, guys. Also here with the lover's card coming is, is a six, I want to tell you. It's a super, super strong indication here that many of you need to make that decision that it's not the right time. Or some of you might be deciding that it is, but you have a lot of, you have obstacles, you have things going on, you have, uh, there's a lot of self-defense still here. I feel like for a lot of you, there's still a lot of running and chasing going on. That's not going to be for everyone, I realize, but for some of you, that really just, that just is the case here. Now, I also think that you or your person might be feeling a little bit well, jealous of another person, and that's common, you guys. I want to tell you in a twin flame journey, especially if somebody here has started a new relationship, whether it's your person um, has started one, or you have started one, or they're seeing it coming, that sort of thing. It can also even be jealousy within karmics or um, people that you are with. I want to say that not not each other, but that's very strong. Your connection is here. We see that. We know you're connected. We know this is a twin flame journey that we know that the unconditional love is there. Whether you've reached or you or your person have reached the point of knowing that yourselves and giving that to each other is really different for everyone. Some of you are, are, are giving that now. Excuse me, the card just looked a little bent here. Uh, some of you are feeling there's a lot of pride and ego here so I feel like for a lot of you you're not exact you're 
not exactly sending that <laughs> love and light all the time. There's there is still some hurt feelings and a little bit of anger and jealousy. And those are things that need to heal, guys, and get worked out. That is the triggering and the mirroring going on. You're both feeling that, I have to tell you. And it can't even be that some of you have talked about this decision of it's not time now or I can't talk now. Um, you might have had, you might have expressed it to your person or them, this jealousy with whoever it is you're with or they're with, or possibly new love even, okay? Um, but that is very, very strong here. And there's a very strong message from spirit, guys, to heal that, okay? Heal yourselves. And you guys can't, a lot of you cannot just heal with your person. You can't talk to them. You can't see them. Some of you might have even blocked out of haste or they've blocked you. It doesn't mean that the tie is severed, but it can go f for years. Uh, you've heard of twin flame journeys, haven't you? You know that. A lot of you are on them. They can go on for years. And it's really about divine timing, guys. Really a super strong need to let go, let God to go with the flow, to live your life, to heal yourself to ascend, to do what you need to do in life, to, to chase your goals, to do your things, to be happy. When you reach that point, your person is that point. If there is a union for you in the 3D, there will be, but it can only be then. It cannot be when we're still in a phase of anger and and competition and ego. It, it's the, the running, the chasing, and even the really strong separation where there's still a lot of unresolved emotions um, or healing that hasn't taken place. It will just take uh, longer. If there in fact is a union and in the in divine timing, it, it's the longer it takes to heal is what I want to say to you. But that's a very strong message. And here with the seven guys, it's um, very clear that your person is thinking about everything that happened and when when they recognized the connection when you came to each other, when you came into each other's lives. And also they're trying to figure it out too. You can see that here and they're feeling kind of defensive. That is a really particular message for those of you chasing here. And again, this can also be you, it can also be your energy here of feeling like you're being chased or you're just not really sure what to do. And I do feel like for some of you too, you're kind of fighting off other people. I have to say here, um, there is some conflict, it looks like, for some of you around your life, in your house maybe, with your partners, for some of you with your children here. And part of that too is with your uh, death card overall energy, this renewal, guys, this transformation and beginning your ascension or diving deeper into seeing it, it's not easy. You know, you think of a butterfly, everybody thinks of the butterfly, you know, Oh, it's beautiful and transforming. It is, but gosh, um, you're spinning around. <laughs> it's, it, I often equate a butterfly's uh, transformation, guys, um, to the twin flame journey in some ways, um, just in that respect that when it's happening, you're spinning around in a dark cocoon. Uh, you don't know what's happening. It's um, transformations are not easy. So I do feel like for some of you that is going on or has been going on or is about to and is causing some conflict in your life too. That's also coming through very strong. But guys, um, I think this is in this spot in particular. I want to say to you because of this partic particular, excuse me, connection for some of you of, of what it's causing your life, maybe with a people around you or your person, but you guys are may have talked recently here, as I've said, or will be talking, um, making some kind of decision together, whether it's to make some peace so you can both just breathe and heal, uh, maybe clear something up. For some of you, it's discussing what you can do. I know that it's not for everyone here, but that is also here, guys. We do see the Ace of Cups. Now, yes, this is page energy here, the page of pentacles with this commitment in their hand. And this is the page of wands with the love, with the relationship, the energy of love. But they're, they're, they're very much thinking about it. And it can immediately flip over here into this strong, confident emperor energy, even the confidence of the Queen of Wands and come. So for some of you, it, I do feel that divine timing is now, but I, I also feel strongly that it's not for everyone here. 
Okay, guys, um, we're going to look at channeled love messages now. This is Taurus, by the way, coming through. Selenite, very high vibrational crown chakra opening. Uh, mineral, guys, volume two, direct messages to you from your person. Again, if you feel like you're sending them, you go with that. Oh, that was going to be yours, and then it, it went back in. That's yours. Serendipity, guys. Yeah, that is not a surprising card to come down today, I have to say, uh, very much in, excuse me, in alignment with Twin Flame Journeys. Very often serendipitous connections, that really is uh, very much, well, the point. <laughs> there are, it's uh, fate as well, fated connections. It's very much um, ways that you're coming together with your person very wild ways too for some of you um you just weren't expecting it and maybe you didn't even know when it happened what exactly it was until months or many many years later that was the case for me and my twin flame journey i couldn't figure out and it took a it took a long time and when i knew boy did everything change the longing for you never quiets Yes, guys, it's true. Now, like I said, um, it's important that you that you surrender and you ascend, guys, so that it gets a lot less. I have to tell you, it does get easier. It does get easier, and you do you are able to focus on the things in your life and and be quite happy. So don't worry if you're not there yet. I want to say to you, you never let them go. You don't cut it, as I said. It's not severed, but you do go on, and it does get easier. It ebbs and flows. Some days are harder, you know, and sending telepathic messages really helps writing letters for yourself to help unblock your heart chakra, guys. Also, letters maybe... Uh, excuse me, letters to your person that maybe, well, obviously, that you are not sending, I want to tell you. That's also helping. Uh, and of course, living your life, doing things for yourself, being around people you love that love you, good energies, good people, good for you guys, not overindulging too much and, you know, stuff <laughs> and sleeping and getting enough exercise and drinking water. And I know that these things sound mundane. You think, what is she saying? We know these things, but you need to hear them because if you're in a particular um phase of your connection it can be that you just you go into um, a dark night of the soul you guys that's very real i want to say to you it's very uh not even not just a depression it's very heavy and it can happen it's not just about twin flames everybody and you can go through more than one in your life it's not just twin flames but i want to say um it's pretty intense but you can come out of it and you come out of it woo like like um, like the regeneration card of wisdom of the oracle. You know, it's still burning up and then it's gone and then the ground is very fertile for growth in your life. And it's, it's what happens with the circle of life. And I want to say that to you. Um, that's very, very strong. Um, so you will come out of that and you will come back even stronger. I promise you. You will get to that point where the longing is not so intense. But there will be days it feels like that. It just won't sting as much. Gemini Virgo just um, took my breath away there, guys. I want to say, gosh, who was this? Was this, um, was that Aries? No. Who was that? Uh, gosh, I apologize. I can't, I can't remember now. Maybe that was Gemini. Uh, maybe that was Gemini actually or Virgo, but I had a reading in December, um, in the December holiday special readings, just decor and whatnot. Um, I was literally, my breath was taken away in the entire reading. I, I couldn't breathe. It's oftentimes that I hear things, I see things, my body reacts, I get emotional. If you watch my readings, you know it's not unusual for me to cry in readings. I can just get on a really, just go really, really fast. It feels like the energy is really fast and then it shows that in the reading. It's a particular reading. You might want to watch Crosswatch uh, for your person, guys, or for your own zodiac sign if you haven't already. Also in December, um, readings are timeless. It was a very intense breathlessness, I have to say. Can you forgive me? Guys, yeah, here's the thing. 
Um, I do feel that. I felt that here with the Queen of Wands and even in the Lover's card here and also in the Emperor card. And we see it here even in the Strength card, you guys. Gosh, um, yeah, that there is something, like I said, that needs to be... There are apologies that need to be made in this connection, but sometimes in the, in the Twin Flame journey, you won't get them. Um, you might never get them. You might get them a long time later because there's so much mirroring and triggering in this. When the ego is involved, when you're in that phase, in that phase here, these two lions up here, we see the lion down here is just not a coincidence, that pride. It's um, hard to give apologies on either end because you think you are just fighting against it and you're kind of fighting against yourself those are two lions they're identical and this is really <laughs> this is this is the two of you it's like your soul's duking it out you know they're the they're the same here it's um and you don't even realize that like i said when they're the mirroring and triggering is going on so your person is what i want to say might not even realize that they need to apologize that won't be for everyone I am in you, and you in me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a very Twin Flame card, if I've ever seen one, guys. Just what we're talking about. Look, these are like doing this. Our love is eternal. Gosh, you guys, you're reading already, okay? That, that death card just took a dive in that emotional energy. Is somebody crying here? So it's, I'm feeling very emotional as you go into this pond, you guys, of, of this frozen um, emotional energy. It's iced over here, you know. It feels, yeah, it feels very difficult for those of you going through a dark night of the soul or awakening, um, going through a transformation or going through something in your life here. Um, I'm sending you love and I'm feeling it. It's, you're not alone. You're not alone, okay? You please remember that. You are not alone. Okay, guys. This was also yours. I really want you back in my life. Yeah, that's a very particular message for somebody here, guys. Um, you know, most most twin flames, when the, when you are out of contact and no communication, you, you kind of stay that way. It's very intense. It's difficult to to just, it's not, it's just not like a um, typical relationship, you know, where you just, oh, you can be friends. It's, but you guys were really connected and having a lot of conversations and really just sharing things. You're person knows you see them in a way nobody else does and they see you in a way nobody else does and they're really sending that through that they miss that they want you to know that whatever's going on in your connection guys we met for a reason yeah guys there's that serendipity again and it's true you did and we talked about that so i won't continue on now these also came down for you it's hard to face the truth very interesting. Yeah. Um, like I said, I feel like your person here, for some of you, it's that feeling of trying to hold it together, but knowing that there's a very strong connection, trying to stay in control also of their life. That could also be you. But for those of you that need that message and really being in that page energy of not being sure how to do it or what they can actually do, how can they get this pentacle to you is what I want to say to you. And that's very difficult for them, especially for those of you, your person is in a dark night of the soul or has not awakened or is possibly still running. But the ego stuff is very strong here. And it really is just looking at it saying, oh, how can I? I can't, you know, I, I can't, I, I want to be able to just come. Because for a lot of you too, you know, you, you're the kind of people and your person that can just make, do things, you know, it's a very... It's a very um, awkward situation and a very painful situation when you come into a twin flame connection and you realize it's divine timing. You cannot, you know, it's what it is. You have to surrender and go with it or you'll make yourself freaking crazy. I long for you. Okay, guys, I'm going to move these cards so we can move on. We are tethered forever. 
Yeah, guys, this is, if I were to say to you what is the most twin flame energy card I have, I would say this is it. Well, this is one of many, but this is a very strong, 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 strong one. You're tethered forever. Also, I want to tell you there is Capricorn energy coming through there. Okay, guys. Twin Flame love messages. Direct messages to you from your person. If you feel you're sending them, then that's how it resonates for you. Okay, these two came out. Thank you for being there for me. I love that for you. I'm going to move these as well, guys. Look, this stayed below. That's yours. No matter what has happened, no matter what you've done, no matter what you will do, I will always love you. I feel like a lot of you are sending that to your person. This came down, guys. Our connection runs so deep. Yeah, we know that though, right? That's not really a surprise, but that's a beautiful card to come down nonetheless. I love you to the moon and back. I love that for you. Guys, um, I did not, I don't always feel this, especially in a twin flame reading, but it wanted to come down today. I have to tell you now, obviously some of you could be musicians, your person could be a musician, very strong musical connection, but there is a very strong message here for healing. Very, very strong. And again, for you today, I'm telling you, this is for you. Um, for those of you to continue on your journey, your ascension of healing, okay? And also for those of you that have not yet or might just be beginning, you hang tight. You will uh, balance out. I promise you, things will heal. It will It will happen. It will work. It might not. Hey it won't. Camera died there. It, it will, won't be easy is what I wanted to say, but it's very strong. And for some of you too, that message of really just needing to make some kind of peace with your person um, that is really bothering you or bothering them. There's something that is just not resolved. And we do see that here, you guys, that ego. It's not going to be for everyone that it can be resolved now. But if it's possible, that's the I love you to the moon and back. Also very strong Pisces Cancer and energy there. All my life I have been dreaming of an angel like you. I love that for you guys. Baby, I miss your smile and sparkling eyes. I love that for you too. I'm just going to move your Twin Flame song messages so we can take this spot, you guys. <laughs> Rose Quartz, by the way. Aries and Libra coming through. Very strong, universal stone of love, you guys. So many things I could say about this. I think you already know. Um, but I'm going to put it here with your lover's card. We're going to get one more. Or however many. Last chance. Last chance. Oh, look, I didn't even get to sing. <laughs> Hurting you hurt me even more. Yeah, that's a very special message to somebody. If nothing lasts forever, can I be your nothing? Gosh, you guys, that makes me want to cry. Okay. Whew, I just almost knocked the light over. Let's put these here and use this to prop up our cards, okay? I guess I should have done that there, but that's too late now. That's a lot of complication to start moving everything here. I'm making a mess, you guys. Okay, last chance. I'm going to give him one last chance. Last chance. Oh, there's a flyer. Okay, and this one also. All I have ever wanted is to have you for life. Well, gosh, you guys. Yeah, that's not a surprising message to come down. My love for you will never change. That's true. Okay, well, look, we're getting, it's getting dicey here, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that away. Um, want to make sure here where we're at. We are, did we look at these yet? No, we did not. Yes, we did. No, we did not. Okay, gosh, you guys. 
I guess I might have um, put a few too many down, but that happens sometimes. When I'm driven to do that, when I feel guided, I just go where I'm guided. Whoa, okay, did you see that? Look, <laughs> these are yours. These are not, except this one is yours. Wow, okay, interesting, guys. Let's begin. Sometimes I cry myself to sleep. Gosh, you guys, is that you sending that? You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. Um, I have to say, guys, there's something here for a lot of you in this connection. Um, as it was disconnecting, just the separation, as things were separating, that happened or was said. There are apologies for that. I just know um, that it's not possible that everybody will get that. Okay, guys. Gosh, what, where do I even put things anymore? I really hate hiding things. You know me better than anyone. That's a very true card. I'm gonna have to start covering, guys. The pain of heartbreak I just can't bear. Your absence makes me gasp for air. Okay, who was that sign that had me gasping for air, guys? I'm telling you, go watch your person's. <laughs> Cross-watch your person's reading. That might also be yours if you haven't watched your Zodiac for December. Um, yeah, this is a January reading, but readings are timeless, you guys. Very, very much. There is a, yeah, this this breathless kind of feeling too here, I have to say for some of you, this uh, not really knowing, this urgency, but then they get frustrated as we talked about very early in the reading with the emperor and the page together, just not being able to move things the way they normally would. And it's very frustrating in this, this weight, this patience that's necessary here, the page of wands in a twin flame journey. In the court of love, I stand guilty as charged but I don't want bail. I want imprisonment in your heart. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, Aquarius always comes through here with this um, card, you guys. Okay, last chance. Well, I didn't need to sing it. Here we go. There's the last two. For what we've been through and for what we can still be, let's give our love one more chance. Yeah, well, you know that, guys. We know that. I don't think that that's a question here. Um, that's the union is just not happening for everybody now. I can't say I miss you because I haven't even begun getting over you. Yeah, you don't, you don't get over. Well, you do actually, you can think you're getting over a twin flame. I do have to tell you, but then those moments come back and you realize, nope, no, this is not, this is not severable. It's you're tethered, you guys, but you can go on with your life and live a happy life, you guys. Gemini Virgo coming through there. If you can hear that. You can. You remember that. It's a very strong message in your reading, actually. Okay, guys. Channeled song messages. Remember, can be that your song is coming down, a title, or simply that there is a message within the song location, name, one word, and it can also be you sending it to your person. You take it as it resonates. Well, I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up. I won't give up, Jason Mraz. Oh, this was sticky, and this one's poking out. A sticky and a poker. Pokey. Come just as you are to me. Don't need apologies. Know that you are worthy. Unconditionally, Katy Perry. Fairy twin flame song message, guys. Yes, unconditional love, and you are perfect as you are. It's very, one of the things about twin flame journeys is you can both feel like you're not good enough. It, it makes you feel like you've done something wrong or you're not good enough for your person. That is unfortunately a very common feeling. Your person is sending this through. You could also be sending it to them, but you are worthy. You are worthy, twin flame. You remember that you are worthy, okay? You are worthy and you do not count your, and you don't bet your life on a twin flame journey. You have a whole other life, guys. You live your life, please. Don't want to give my heart away to another stranger or let another day begin. 
won't even let the sunlight in. No, I'll never love again. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, I'll never love again. This is a very strong card for those of you that are still in them. Haven't surrendered yet, I have to say. Some of you might be in a dark night of the soul, just still really, really struggling with it. Haven't stopped chasing, maybe. It's a very direct message, too, for you, again, to take care of yourself, you guys. Channel that Leo energy, that strength card. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Look around what is around you. Do the things you need to do. Be around the people that love you. Find more people to love you if you feel like you don't have, if you maybe you're in a situation in another country or you don't have family or feel like you have a lot of friends. You're never alone, I'll tell you right now, okay? Um, but that is a particular message, and I do feel that that is, um, some of you, those are, that is your song. And maybe I'll find out a way to make it back someday, to watch you, to guide you through the darkest of your days, wherever you will go, the calling. Okay, you guys, yeah. It's very emotional. We just talk about your, a lot of you in the dark night of the soul and your person, um, who not want, wanting to send you that love and also um, spirit sending you that love, letting you know you're not alone. And this is also coming through for you now from your person and also spirit, guys. For those of you that are really um, still struggling right now, that have not surrendered, that might still be chasing, this is a very special message to you. You're not alone and you can come out of that. Okay, you take care of yourself. I'm not going to say it all again because I just said it all, really. But I love this for you. I'm putting it here with your lover's card. This is also yours. And I want to wake up with the rain falling on a tin roof while I'm safe there in your arms. So all I ask for you to come away with me in the night. Come away with me. Come away with me, Nora Jones. Gosh, you guys, you're reading. Um, for a lot of you, this is the, yeah, I don't feel like it's union time for everyone, guys. Divine timing. But for some of you, it really is. This isn't, this is new love for a lot of you guys, the Ace of Cups. But for a lot of you, this is your person here coming out of nowhere and wanting to sweep you up. And whether you can go or not, it might end something here. We see the death card. Could also be that you can't, but that's also about change, you guys. Transformation, renewal, rebirth. We feel that here. Some of you are in it. Some of you have it coming. But also some of you are um, in the dark night of the soul or, or needing to come out of that and start your ascending, your ascension, excuse me, and your healing. But I want to tell you, for those of you that it's not the divine timing, guys, to come together. Your person is wanting to do this. I have to say it's a very strong energy here. Last chance. Look, and it just stuck to my hand. So when I'm all choked up and I can't find the words, every time we say goodbye, it hurts. Always remember us this way, Lady Gaga. Gosh, you guys, you're reading. Look, and I'm covering up everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Twin Flame song messages, guys. Do you want to say to your person? I'll be your hope. I'll be your love. Be everything that you need. Truly, madly, deeply, savage garden. Gosh, you guys, what do I, where do I even put anything anymore? This got pushed off sort of like a, I don't know, this one too, look. I'm warmed up now. Let's go. Beyonce, crazy in love with Jay-Z. Yeah, guys, I, I do feel like that's for some of you. It, it just is. Um, it's not for everybody, though. I, I want to say that. Yours was the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. First day of my life, bright eyes. Very, very, very much a twin flame card. And yeah, your person here is acknowledging that connection. They may not know the name, but they're not imagining this connection, guys. Or, excuse me, not imagining it. They're acknowledging it. Feeling very tongue-tied here. I think the reading uh, might need to end soon, you guys. It's feeling... I'm feeling like... Uh, yeah, it's a lot. 
And darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. Thinking out loud, Ed Sheeran, very much a Twin Flame Soulmate card, you guys. Imagining that life with you. I know this in the 3D, guys. Some things just, some things just make sense. And one of those is you and I. Some things just, some things just make sense. And even after all this time, I'm still into you. Julia Shear. <laughs> Where do we put things, guys? But now they only block the sun. They rain and they snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in my way. Both sides now, Joni Mitchell. Absolutely stunning song, please. I'll go listen to this song if you have not heard it. And it's very much about the obstacles, you guys. Gosh. Um, yeah, and regret. There is a lot of regret, but, you know, th things are the way they are. Things, what's to be will be, you know. <laughs> Divine timing, guys. But it doesn't mean that there's not regret involved. Your person thinking what they could have said or done differently. And for some of you, a very particular message about what they could have said or done differently. Because there is some hurt here and an apology for a particular person. But regret of a choice maybe that was made or not made that affected this um, connection. This is poking out and this is the last one, guys. Fade into you. Strange you never knew. Fade into you. I think it's strange you never knew. Mazzy Star. Yeah, um, that's going right back to what we just talked about, too, for some of you, whatever was going on there. Also, just the connection. I feel like some of you had some really heavy discussions about it. Your person maybe not willing to see it. That's going to be a particular message, guys. Okay, did we look at that? Yes, this is the last um, song message deck. Something to say song messages. I am the air you breathe. I am your symphony. Do you remember me? Morton Harkett. Really beautiful song, guys. This is the lead singer of AHA. You need to go listen to this, I feel. Um, this will go on your playlist for your person if it's not already there. And for some of you, it's on theirs. And for others, they're sending the message. There is that gasping for air thing that just won't go away, that just keeps coming up. I've been alone with you inside my mind. And in my dreams, I've kissed your lips a thousand times. Hello, Lionel Richie. Yeah, guys, they're really, 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 whew, lots of telepathic messages, but that's, that's a given. Lots of telepathic messages, lots of telepathic love being sent, I have to say. Dreaming about you, but also just really thinking a lot about things, thinking a lot about you. You're on their mind. Don't think that you're not. And I'd give up forever to touch you. Because I know that you feel me somehow. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And now we say Iris here in Austria. Maybe you say Iris. I'm not sure. The Goo Goo Dolls. But guys, this is from the movie City of Angels where he decided to stay, remember, to be with her. And then he chose like the biggest thing you could do. And then she ended up not um, surviving but that love story, as sad as it was, you you know why he did it. Um, very intense card to come down. I know in the in the twin flame a journey, guys. Sometimes some ma yeah, it's it's pretty major. I have to say, those if you are he if you're here, especially you're here to this point. I don't need to even explain it. I'm just not going to because I know you know what I'm saying. It's yours, and this is yours. We are luck. We are fate. The Golden State, John Doe. Yeah, very faded connection. We talked about that already, but that's a given. Why am I showing you that? <laughs> I'll wait and pray just for the day when you come back to me once again. Oh, my love is true. Only for you, sweetheart. 
Sarah Vaughn, written by George Treadwell and Jerry Valentine. Yeah, this patience here that we see, I'm not going to drag all the cards out, guys, but we, we see that here. We talked a lot about it in the beginning. Uh, there's a lot of impatience here, and that's not surprising. It is a twin flame journey, and that goes with the territory. This is yours. The rest were um, not. You are the flame in my heart. You light my way in the dark. You are the ultimate star. I belong to you, Lenny Kravitz. Very twin flame card, you guys. Also Aquarius coming through, but not even the point, guys. Your person knows you're tethered. This is a connection. You don't sever them. You move on. You love. You have a good life. If you do not get uh, back into, if you do not get union to begin with for some of you, or back for those of you that were already together. Um, you still need to keep moving, but there's that flame, guys, that twin flame. Wow, yeah, you're really still helping them. You, a lot of you are sending good energy, so you keep doing that. When you send, when you send your telepathic messages and your energy, they're receiving it. Um, this, they're acknowledging that here. And also some of you might be sending this to your person, I want to say. Okay. I'm so hard to handle. I'm selfish and I'm sad. Now I've gone and lost the best baby I ever had, River Joni Mitchell. Who, you guys, your person. Yeah, this is coming back to that frozen emotional stuff we talked about here. Um, there is also a line here about skating away on it, um, telling us that it is really thick, and um, it's not It's not the time for a lot of you, the divine timing. It, it's the emotions are all there, but they're kind of frozen, I want to say. It's been a long, it's a separation. It's They're just there. And they come and they go and they come and they go and you might find a crack in the ice or a little fishing hole, whatever it may be, or it starts to thaw out in spots. That's very much about the emotional energy. It, it is sad, um, but also your person, this can be you too, is acknowledging again something that might have gone on between you. Um, because there is that, there is a little bit of pride stuff going on. Okay, guys, um, this is the last card here. If I was weak, forgive me, but I was terrified. You brushed my eyes with angel wings, full of love, the kind of love that makes devils cry. You have been loved, George Michael. Gosh, you guys, you're reading. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen this card. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> and just as I say all this, I'm looking at a blinking battery, guys. Just a minute, okay? Hi guys. Okay. Whew. I'm going to read this again. If I was weak, forgive me, but I was terrified. You brushed my eyes with angel wings, full of love, the kind that makes devils cry. You have been loved, George Michael. Yeah, guys, that is just a really beautiful message to come through to you. Now, it's not just that it's Capricorn energy. It is. It doesn't mean that your person or you are Capricorn. You could be here. But yeah, the connection is intense. Now people think of the devil card in ways that are not so great. But really, it's also about being tethered, which we see here, guys. You guys are tethered. And I'm not going to dig up the card here. We uh, Where is it? I don't know where it is. <laughs> but that we're tethered forever. We know that about you. And that is what comes through for you with the devil card is what I want to say. But realizing the angel wings, also the fact that you got the city of angels card coming down, it's very, very intense. Your person, your person knows that this is a, um, like nothing else, I have to say. They may not know the word, they may not know all, all of that, but they know that this is something they can't even articulate, I have to say. Okay, look, we're done, but look, there's two cards here, and then I'm going to get some tarot closet channeled love messages, and then we're going to end the reading, guys. I wanted to bring you numbers and letters, but um, I'm feeling like it's time, I'm, and this is poking out. I'm feeling very emotional, actually, and I, I feel like I need to close the reading, so I'm going to read these last um, song messages and we'll channel some tarot closet messages. I know why I waited, know why I've been blue. I've been waiting each day for someone like you, exactly like you, Nina Simone. 
yeah, your person is really acknowledging that, you guys. You could also be sending that. Wish I forget you, but you're here to stay. <laughs> Good morning, heartache. <laughs> okay, you guys. You're, is this you who's very emotional or is this your person? But this is really intense. Good morning, heartache, Billy Holiday, written by Irene Higginbotham, Aaron Drake, and Dan Fisher. Yeah, because it is a kind of new heartache when you long for your twin flame and it can ebb and flow. Like I said, it does get easier, guys, but there, there will be moments. But your person is sending this through. It's sort of they're acknowledging that like good morning heartache like here here I here it goes or what's happening it's very much here guys gosh I'm sure you know this song but generational stuff maybe you don't you go listen to this if you don't know it okay this was um coming from under the deck you guys <laughs> of course it was coming from under the deck you are my other half Gosh, right as we are crying and this is, is is wanting to be seen and your reading is very beautiful. It's um it's very beautiful. It's difficult too. I know some of you are really in a difficult place now. But your person is acknowledging that. They may not know the name. They may not know exactly what what is this connection called or what is this connection? But they know it's been uh, very intense in these messages, as you have heard. So I won't go over all of them again. But wow, you're reading Twin Flames. It's very, yeah. Okay. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. I am afraid you will reject me. Yeah, um, I want to say for those of you where your person, we that's so buried now, where they're coming out of that page energy and um, that ego with the emperor card and that the divine timing is there. Um, the work is being done, wanting to come out of nowhere. They're scared, I have to say. I know that it's not for everyone, guys, so please take that as it resonates. I care too much what people think. Yeah, there are other people for a lot of you. You are so beautiful. And this is about your soul, you guys. These are yours. Give me time. Where did your... I, I feel like your other half needs to be here, guys. With your twin flame swans. My world changed when I met you. Yeah, guys. You too. I think you're also sending that. These two are yours. I was scared. Yeah, it's a very particular message. I want to kiss you. Guys, um, I want to tell you, if I didn't already tell you, I think I did, but this is, um, I would say, leftover, but I'm keeping it up also for January. It is, I might even keep it longer, to be honest. This is mistletoe uh, that I put up for December readings. Your person is sending you a kiss, you guys. <laughs> I love this for you. Um, I have to say, despite all the readings and the mistletoe, I think there were maybe only a few kisses sent in December, so it's very special for you. Actually, I want to... Um, put it here guys so that you can really uh, see it there you go right in your mistletoe I'm sorry I ran is that your person or is that you somebody is making this apology yeah but you know when you do it's kind of takes two in this connection somehow. It's really hard living without you. It's very common. This is what happens, you guys, with the running. You're my first thought when I wake up and my last thought before I sleep. And last thought before I sleep, excuse me. I'm so sorry I hurt you. You are the love of my life. Twin flames. Yeah. 
Whew. Okay, this one is pushing up. Uh, they're pushing off. It's crazy, you guys. Don't give up on us. Okay, I'm going to take this and this because they're <laughs> really wanting me to read them. Yes, I know you love me. I could listen to your voice all day and night. All right, you have a last chance, okay? I feel your energy. Okay, guys, I'm putting them down now. I'm going to read you these cards that came down. You were so good to me. I'm hiding my true feelings. We know that. We see the double emperor here. Um, and we know why, too. It can also be you sending that, guys. But we know. We know. We know why. I made so many mistakes. Yeah, there's a lot of regret there, you guys. Some of them were unavoidable, these mistakes, I have to say. All right, you guys. That's your reading. It was beautiful, intense, emotional, a lot of things. Um... I wish you well in your journey. Take very good care of yourselves again. Do the things you want to do that you've been dreaming of doing. Ascend, you guys. Fly, okay? Find or be around people you love that love you. Enjoy yourself. Sleep well and a lot. <laughs> Drink lots of water and eat lots of good food and take lots of walks in nature. Or as close as you can get, be around children and animals and do the things that you need to do to take care of your heart and your mind and your soul okay you're not alone you're not alone in your journey and you're not alone in this life i love you very much i wish you well take good care of yourselves and i'll see you next time bye twin flames